Imagine a city in which homes, buildings, and cars exchange energy as part of a hyper-modern electric grid. Highly efficient, no more points of failure. These future engineers have. Using electric vehicles, we can store and transfer energy in ways that we haven't done before, which creates a much more efficient grid, a grid that's resilient to power outages, natural disasters. Imagine wearing clothes that aren't mass-produced, but instead are made entirely of second-hand materials, even trash. It's just better for the environment to reuse old materials and find a different use for things that you might not think are in style anymore. They were among 60 projects on display at this year's University of Colorado Boulder's Sustainability Summit. Oh my God, it is amazing. These students have, you know, they think in such creative ways. Scott King heads up Mission Zero, an initiative that helps students work on climate solutions and funded some of these projects and this competition. This wearable air quality sensor provides personalized data for the air environment you're exposed to as opposed to generalizations made from stationary systems. CU Boulder has a long history of environmental research and activism in which students have been in the forefront. These projects are much more conceptual than they are commercially ready, but they may represent a key part of the future when it comes to tackling climate change. Unfortunately, being an environmental entrepreneur is like being an entrepreneur with a cinder block tied around your ankles. Because, says Jeff York with CU's lead school of business, environmentally destructive companies and industries have a competitive advantage in the market. We're going to have to leave fossil fuels in the ground if we're going to address climate change. This is all there is to it. And in order to do that, these companies are going to have to change. However, the impetus to change often is driven by startups. That creates momentum, he says, for new, more environmentally friendly policies. I think it's essential. That's where these young visionaries come in. It's a big issue for us. It's, it's something that a lot of us are passionate about. Members of this generation feel a responsibility when it comes to climate change. Everyone is telling us that it's our problem, so like that definitely makes us feel like it's our problem and we need to do something about it. If you talk to these kids, you'll see the enthusiasm in their eyes. You'll see the optimism. It is their problem, but I think it's my generation's responsibility to help them. These recycled fashionistas won top prize and $5,000. Students on this campus are discovering their role when it comes to climate solutions. Making a difference, making an impact, there's really nothing better than that. Hendrick Sobrandi, CGTN, Boulder, Colorado.